Good day everyone! Today we will tackle how magma rises and do a model of it. Nevertheless, please proceed with safety and caution if you would do this too. The materials that we'll use are a small jar, a large jar, a sharp object, rubber bands, food coloring, cellophane, warm water, and cold water. Let's go! First, we will put hot water in the small jar as well as food coloring. Second, we will cover the jar with cellophane and rubber bands. Then, we will make random holes on the cellophane using the sharp object. After working on the small jar, let us now pay attention to the large jar. We will put the right amount of cold water inside the large jar. Now that all of it are done, we will now put the small jar inside the large jar. Now, we observe and let the magic happen. Now, we can see that the hot colored water has spread out to the larger jar. Now let us answer the guide questions. Number 1. What does colored water represent? The colored water represents the magma in the mantle of the earth. Number 2. Why does the colored water rise? The colored water rises up because it is less denser than the cold water. This occurs due to the difference of temperature of the waters. Number 3. Relate this activity to how magma reaches the surface of the earth. Magma reaches the surface of the earth due to the pressure and density of it being different than the rock surrounding it. It rises up through the fractures made by seafloor spreading on the oceanic plates and through magma chambers and volcanoes for the land surfaces. I hope you enjoyed our experiment. Thank you and have a nice day.